Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to make sure it's comfortable. And keep watch over your mind to make sure it doesn't go slipping off. If it does go slipping off, it should bring it right back. The mind has work to do. It, meditation can be restful, but it is a kind of work. Because otherwise the mind just kind of wanders around aimlessly. If you were to draw a map of its wanderings in the course of the day, it would look like a bird's nest, everything all tangled and a mess, basically. We're trying to straighten it out, because after all, the mind is the source of all our well-being. It's also the source of all our suffering. This is why we have to watch out for what the mind is going to do. And this is why we need that quality of heedfulness, recognizing that the mind does have some dangerous qualities inside. We've got to develop the good qualities to fight them off. Otherwise, the dangerous qualities take over. So here we are trying to develop some good qualities in mind. And it's useful, especially at a time like this, as the year is ending. And we look back on the year, reflect on what you've done, the, the things you did well, the mistakes you made, so you can learn from them. All too often when we think about a mistake we made, we shove it out of the mind. But that's not a very heedful way of acting, because if you shove the mistakes out of your mind, you're going to repeat them, and you shove them out again. And they keep causing suffering. There should come a time we say, look, I've got to learn from these things. So remember that meditation is not always about, just about being in the present moment. Sometimes you reflect on the past, think about some actions you did that were harmful and how you might not, how you might learn how not to repeat that mistake. This way you learn from your past mistakes and they actually become part of your practice as you develop the mind into higher and higher levels of being clear about itself, being clear about what it's doing. So you'll be more and more skillful in what you do and say and think. So take some time to reflect what were some of the mistakes you made in the past year and how you might learn not to repeat them, and apply that, those lessons to your meditation, not only to your meditation but also to your actions throughout daily life. When the Buddha was giving his last instructions, he stressed the quality of heedfulness. When he said, what is the basis for all skillful qualities in the mind, he said, heedfulness. So let's keep that in mind, that we have to watch out after our minds. Things don't just flow our way nicely. Sometimes they do flow our way nicely, but that's because we did something skillful in the past. But we also want to learn how to keep on doing skillful things in the present moment, because things you did in the past you can't go back and change, but you can take control of the present. Make sure that no matter what comes up in the present, you're going to respond in a skillful way, in a way that doesn't harm yourself, in a way that doesn't harm anybody else. And the meditation is something that gives you the strength to do that. Because all too often thinking about the mistakes you made in the past is a painful memory. And you want to have something to soothe the mind. So you soothe it with a breath, you soothe it with a sense of ease and well-being. So you can breathe freely, and the mind will be in a much more conducive place to think about the past and to learn from it. So you take care of the present, you learn from the past, so you can guarantee yourself a good future. The basic principle in the Buddhist teachings, so basically often overlook it. So make sure you keep it always in mind. <laughs>